INS Momu Gao, which is the second stealth destroyer of Project 15B, that is being built by Mazagin Dock Limited, has started sea trials from today, and it will be commissioned into the Indian Navy in mid-2022. The Project 15B destroyers have a displacement of 7,300 tons, and they incorporate new design concepts for improved survivability, advanced stealth and ship maneuverability. They are packed with state-of-the-art weapons and sensors, including BrahMos supersonic missiles for long-distance engagement of shore and sea-based targets. After a meeting with the visiting French Defence Minister Florence Parly, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh had announced yesterday that France has agreed to manufacture an engine in India under the strategic partnership model which had led to media speculations that this new jointly manufactured engine will power India's AMCA Mark II and Ted BF fighter jets, for which a new consortium of companies will be formed by DRDO Hindustan Aeronautics and private sector companies, along with the French engine manufacturer Safran, but new reports indicates that this Indo-French engine project will be focused on the requirement for military helicopters, that India plans to roll out in the next few years. Meanwhile, the international partner for the development of a new high-thrust engine for the AMCA Mark II program will be announced at the Defence Expo 2022, and agreements for the joint venture will be concluded in later half of 2022. The offer by British firm Rolls-Royce is considered much better, which has offered the development of a new core section that will have a verified growth potential of 20% so that it can be used for other future fighter jet programs, and India will have complete intellectual property rights over the new engine along with upgrade options. The Russian systems on the MiG-29K had been preventing the integration of indigenous weapon systems, due to which the Aircraft Upgrade Research and Design Center of Hindustan Aeronautics has started the MiG-29K upgrade program, under which it will be integrated with indigenous mission computers, indigenous UTAM radar, laser pods, indigenous weapons like Astra Mark I and Mark II air-to-air -air missiles smart anti-airfield weapon system, and new laser-guided munitions. The successful integration of all the systems will increase its range, improve day and night situational awareness, night attack capability and improved accuracy. The Aircraft Upgrade Research and Design Center has also launched a service life extension program to increase the life of the Su-30 aircraft, beyond the numbers specified by the Russian manufacturer Shukhoi. The Indian Air Force chief has said that 32 Rafale aircraft have been delivered, and three aircraft will arrive in India in February 2022, and the last aircraft with 13 India-specific enhancements will be delivered after all its trials are conducted in France. He also said that he has discussed the matter of future maintenance of Rafale aircraft with the French Defence Minister, and establishing a D-level maintenance in India, and the French minister said that France is ready to fulfill any additional Rafale requirement or any other request that could be made by India. The Ordnance Factory will soon deliver an order for 100 units of Trico Compact Carbine to the National Security Guards. The 7.62 by 39 mm compact carbine is a shorter version of TAR rifle, and it has a range more effective than a typical submachine gun. The trigger has a special muzzle booster, which helps in hiding the flash, and mitigates the sound. Another advantage is that it can use ammunition and magazines, as well as the interchangeable parts of the Torrent AK-47 rifle. The DRDO's Aerial Delivery Research and Development Establishment has conducted a flight demonstration of the CADS 500 from an altitude of 5,000 meters from AN-32 aircraft and 11 paratroopers of Indian Army and Indian Air Force chased the CADS 500 in air, and they landed simultaneously. The CADS 500 is a controlled aerial delivery system of 500 kg capacity, that is used for precise delivery of payload of 500 kg at predetermined location by making use of maneuverable capabilities of the ram air parachute. 
It uses global positioning system for the coordinates, altitude and heading sensors for the heading information during its flight. The CADS uses its onboard electronics unit, and autonomously steers its flight path, using waypoint navigation towards target location by operating controls. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has said, that with the current reforms undertaken by the center, the size of the Indian defense and aerospace sector is likely to reach 5 lakh crore rupees by 2047, from the current 85,000 crore rupees. He also informed, that the government is working to expand the positive indigenization list of 208 items to 1,000 items. The Indian defense export has increased by 325% in the last five years, and India has informed all its major defense partners, that the military platforms required by the Indian Armed Forces, will have to be manufactured in India through co-development and co-production projects. Oh, Mark,